Alright, yo guys, what's up? It's uh, Mike Hansen here. Um, I haven't made a video in quite some time, so I figured, you know what? Let's start a new trend. Let's try to make some player reviews. And I figured, you know what? Why not the first video? My all-time favorite player, Brian Dawkins, the Wolverine. Weapon, weapon X. Alright, so the all-rookie card came out probably about, what, two months ago? Late March or whatever. I ended up getting them. I ended up making the set, and I think I spent all in all about maybe 400,000 coins or something like that, 500,000, somewhere in between there. Um, right here, I'm going to compare him to the 96 Brian Dawkins. He is a little better, but I must admit, the 96 Brian Dawkins, when I had him, I feel like he played a little better, but I think he only played better because I didn't use as a safety. I Before I got really good user in safety, I used to, you know, just let the computer go, but now I'm starting to use your safety, and it's, it's amazing. So, anyway, here we go. We're going to show two blitzes off the bat. Right now, this is going to go for a safety. I got to say thank you to Slow Tech because we played four games, and, you know, we were just messing around, whatever, seeing how Dawkins would do, and this is how we got the footage, but I don't really blitz with him, but here we're going to show him getting beat. Um, Slow Tech has a 96 overall team. His team is pretty solid, so this is not like against you know shitty players, bronze, silver, whatever, or gold. But here we're gonna start off with the bad news first. We're gonna show Bri Brian Dawkins getting beat constantly, or just getting epic fucking catches like that. And that was pretty sick. I think that was Julio Jones, the uh, 99 position hero, I think. But here we're gonna show Dawkins. Um, a lot of these clips, I am usering him, because I feel like when he is the computer, if you just leave him alone, Julio Jones strikes again with that epic catch, but if when he's the computer, it feels like he's a ghost. Um, right there, I messed, I totally blew that coverage, and Slow Tech was able to get an easy score on me. Right there, another aggressive catch with Julio Jones. So, as you see, I'm... He keeps throwing it to Julio Jones, and I think that is the uh, 96 Jason Witten. So, I mean, given those two guys, uh, that looks like it was Amari Cooper, but given those receivers, you know, they're beast receivers, Dawkins is alright. Ooh, right there, we... That's one thing we'll get to in a bit against the run. But, Dawkins, he goes for 300k. I went for the pick right there and did not get the pick. But, he goes for 300,000. And here comes a SWAT. We're going to show some SWATs and breakups now. Um, he goes for 300000 And I just think he's a nice budget free safety. In my honest opinion, I think the best free safety right now in the game is the boss Ed Reed. And I would totally buy him. But, you know, that's 100 and... What was that? 1,000,000.5 coins or something like that. So, for a great price, you can still have a 99 safety. You know, Brian Dawkins. And he's great. Um, as you're seeing in some of these, he is breaking up balls and passes, and he is just always by the play. As you saw right there, Cooper caught the ball, and Dawkins was able to get his hand in there to punch it out. Right there, he was able to get in there and break up the whole pass. So, I think he's overall, he's pretty solid. Right there, he actually could have picked that, but he didn't, even though Jason Witten was going for an epic one-handed catch. Mm, right there, he breaks up another one. So, he's... In my honest opinion, he's on and off. It's either he's going to show up in your game, or he's going to be a ghost. And if you're playing against someone that's just constantly bombing it over the middle, right there, I was able to read it and swallow it down. But if you're playing someone that just, you know, plays like four verse, he might get a pick, but then again, there's that risk of him getting burned. But then again, you can have epic shit like that, and he tipped it, and Night Train Lane is able to pick it off and a weird interception, but Brian Dawkins is my all-time favorite player, I'm a die-hard Eagles fan, and I usually use her the safety in the middle linebacker, I've been focusing more on the safeties now, um, when we did these four games, the two games, two games I used them, the other two I, you know, I just let them be and let the computer handle it, when he is the computer, it feels like he is a complete ghost. I just feel like he'll get burned, or he'll get mossed, or he'll get, you know, he'll make a wrong read and, you know, run another way, or the receiver will fake him out. But, plays like this, epic user picks, 
one good thing about Dawkins is it, when he does pick it, he's also could run with the ball, which is nice. His returns are pretty solid. He can actually break tackles. So you do have a chance, you know, returning the ball or returning for a pick six, six compared to some other guys who just pick it off and then, you know, that's it, they're done. But also another thing, Dawkins does have that speed. He's got over 95 speed, so I think it's 96. Right there, he would have had another pick right there, but it looks like Cam Chancellor got right in front of him and was able to fucking snag it from him. But Dawkins, for the price, you can't beat it. I think he's going for somewhere in between 300k and 350k on Xbox One and PS4. So, I mean, it's totally worth it. Of course, Frost Ed Reed is probably the best safety, and I would love to have him. And you'll get plays like that probably every time with Boss Ed Reed. But, you know, depending on your budget, you know. Uh, another good thing with him is he catches everything you know when he swats it he'll actually like swat it but one thing we noticed with him in these four games was when the ball was catchable he didn't drop the ball he actually picked off every pass you know you get cornerbacks or safeties that come up and you know they go to catch it and then they drop it with Dawkins if it was a catchable ball for him he will actually catch it and just you know try to return it or whatever so very solid in the passing game um, right here against the run, that, on the quick toss, that was on me. I should have tackled him in the backfield, but I totally, I botched that, and that was horrible. So, take two, here we come with the hit stick. Beautiful hit stick. Dawkins against the run. If you user him, and you know it's a run, like an inside zone or a quick toss, if you can beat the blocker every time, you'll get the tackle. If he is the computer, however, I feel like he'll get, you know, just whomped just destroyed um other than that his pursuit and everything is great as you see right here coming completely untouched one thing which is really weird considering he has 102 hit power and a decent pursuit and great tackling is he does not force a lot of fumbles we were able to get a couple great hit sticks like oh wow that wasn't one but we were able to get a couple great hit sticks and he just never forced a fumble, not once in four games, well actually five games, but as you can tell, he has the speed, he has the pursuit, and he has the hit power, so, and another good thing with Dawkins is, obviously, he, he's a running back here, I forget who his running back is, but every time Dawkins was able to make a tackle, and he never got stiff arm or trucked or anything, and right there, he, uh, you know, he was back in there. He was within five yards of the play. Here's another great open field tackle on Eddie Lacy. So, Dawkins is totally worth the coins, in my opinion. It just depends on how you use him. As you can tell, he gets off the block and he's able to save the touchdown, even though Patrick Peterson was right there. One thing we did learn or figure out with him is kickoff returns. If you have him on a kickoff return and the opponent runs to the left, he'll be there. He'll be there every time and he'll hit it. And even when he doesn't get the tackle, he'll actually get back there. He'll still be... That's one weird thing with him. He's always around the ball. If it's in his area, he'll be around the ball. Um, stripping the ball, we couldn't get any fumbles with him either. Um, he rarely got mossed. Maybe two or three plays. But that's because he has boss Megatron, but... Not really that bad. I mean, for a safety getting lost, I don't think it, you know, happens to them as much as, like, a cornerback. But Dawkins, very reliable. Always in the field of tackle. Great, great budget player. And uh, I would probably rate him an 8 out of 10. And probably, he's probably, like, the third or fourth best free safety in the game right now. So, great for the price. Guys, this is my first review. I hope you guys like it. I'm looking at making more. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Cut me a break. I haven't made a video in almost two years. So let me know what you guys think.